welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. And we have another look at a little print today. And when I say little, I mean little. This thing is absolutely tiny. And this printer is the Monoprice Select Mini V2. Now, I thought I'd take a look at some more budget printers for you guys. We looked at the FL Sun Q5 there in the last video. And that was a smashing little printer. And this thing's even smaller. And I would say just as good. Now, before we start, let's take some measurements so we can see exactly how small this thing is. So we've got about 25 centimeters across and roughly 18 centimeters deep. So it is tiny. It's all made from metal. It's very solid, very sturdy. It's well built. Now, we do have the world's smallest build plate so the build area on this is 120 by 120 by 120. So it's quite small. Do have a heated build plate though, which is an absolute bonus or a must. Um, they do say you can print ABS for this, but I don't believe it. I don't, I don't think this machine is, is I would say man enough to print in ABS. I mean, I've been printing with PLA and I have been getting some fantastic results. Um, comes from the factory, all assembled. Only thing you need to do is just quickly level the bed. Takes a matter of minutes. Very simple, very easy to do. Um, so let's get this thing fired up. Have a little walk through it all. So the power switch is located around on the back of the machine. So we have no touch screen on this at all. So we have to use the dial. Very, very basic settings. Let's just hang on, move the camera down. That's up, down, zoom you guys in a bit. So let's say here we have the wheel. So you basically have print, which will load up your micro SD card, which is on the right hand side of the machine. So that is all you have for the print. And then basically you have your preheat settings, so you can change, well, you can heat your nozzle, your bed. So you can click on them, set it to what you want to set it at. So it would say 200, move the dial to the bed. I mean, the bed will max is out at 60, so straight away that's not hot enough for ABS anyway. So this, this machine would be, is ideal for PLA. Okay, so there we go, the machine. <clears throat> the machine is now heating up. Also, I don't want to heat it up right now, so we can just stop the preheat. And then finally, into your move. And this is just where you can move all your axes. So you just turn the dial, obviously right for right. And we go right for right. Left for left. And that's the same with all of them. Backwards forwards obviously you can move your print head up and down extrude your filament also I haven't got any filament in the machine at the minute and the nozzle's not hot and then obviously you've got your home now while we're going to the home I should change bed we'll talk about bed leveling bed leveling on this is actually quite simple so once the machine is actually homed you turn it off at the back and then you can move your print head around, slide your sheet of paper underneath your nozzle, and then you've got four Allen key adjustments on each corner, just raise it up and down until you, you just feel it on your sheet of paper, and that's it, simple as that, bed's leveled. It really doesn't take much to level this bed because like I say, there isn't much of it. Um, this plate, this, well, this pad that they've got stuck on here is actually quite good. It is very sticky. I haven't had any prints come off or anything like that. Quite easy to replace. And obviously, you just heat your bed up. It's near a sticky pad. You can then just peel it off. And then these things are 10 to the penny. You can, I mean, if you can't even find one that'll fit, you can just get a slightly bigger one and just cut it down to size. That wouldn't be an issue. Now, this printer also does have Wi Fi. Um, I can't really see the point of it at the moment, but to access your Wi-Fi, you move your dial over to move, hold the button down for about three seconds, and that goes into setting up mode for the Wi-Fi. 
Now I just grab my phone. You need to download the MP Mini 3D app. Oh, it isn't going to connect because I'm in configure mode. So I will set, will set it up. <laughs> okay, so we're saying you need to disconnect your USB cable. I haven't got anything. I've got my printer turned on. I've moved over to the dial. I've moved the dial to the move and held it down. Okay, so no one wants me to set up my Wi-Fi. So hang on. I need to set my Wi-Fi up. I've done this all earlier on to be all organized to show you guys, but hang on, you just have to enter your Wi-Fi password. Which I am now doing. So obviously enter your Wi-Fi password and you click configure. And then you see the screen has gone back to normal. have to wait for the phone to finish setting up. Anyway, while that's doing that, we'll take a little look around the machine. So on the top of the machine, with the extruder, it's plastic. It's quite a solid plastic. I mean, it, it works. Obviously we have the spill holder comes with it just slides on the side there and obviously from the extruder down the Bowden tube straight into this tiny little hot end and it is a tiny diddy little hot end it's got the one fan try and get you guys down to the nozzle but I don't think I'm gonna be able to with this gimbal See the hot end is insulated. All right, so let's get this stand back. And go back to the phone, which isn't doing anything. Got the printers are successful, but according to my phone, it's not doing anything. So while that thinks about what it's doing, we'll have a look at the, some of the test prints. So, I zoom you out a bit. Now this file for this was actually on the SD card. Just the test file. See, it's printed quite well. Printed this in uh, silk, silver, obviously PLA. So that's a test print, came out well. Next job, next thing up, printed this little sign. As you can see, didn't come out that well, but that was actually my fault because, you see here, I hadn't actually quite got the bed level. Because the test print was printed on a raft, so I didn't notice it at the time. So when I went and printed this little sign, the bed wasn't quite level. So after I re-leveled the bed, then went and printed the noisy cricket from Men in Black. Came out well, printed this in two halves and then obviously glued them together. Obviously you can see I didn't glue them together very well, <laughs> but just for a test print, I'd say that came out quite well. And after that, I thought I'd print a couple of vases in spiral mode. So this one came out really well, apart from the bottom here, where I did have a bit of warping. So then I thought I'd try it again. So I printed this one, had no warping. 
This was a bit more of a challenge for the machine and it actually came out really well. Apart from one little flaw, you can see running around just here. But apart from that, the quality of this thing is absolutely phenomenal. For a little tiny budget printer, I would say that that's more than acceptable. And after that, I thought I'd give it a test by printing this like fidget toy, this spherical, well, half cube type spinny thingamajigger. As you can see, it's all running freely, spinning. Came out incredibly well. There's a few odd little bits you can see here, like in the. I put a lot of that down to old filament. This filament that I was using was quite old, and it was sort of the end of the reel that I was just using up. But this came out incredibly well. I was really trying to get this Wi Fi working for you, but my phone's not playing ball. All right, guys, I got the Wi-Fi set up and working. <laughs> and my phone was just being pants. So, like I was saying, in this setting, you can obviously adjust the temperature of the nozzle. Let me just slide it up to where you want to set it to. And then obviously we can choose the same with the bed. Okay, so I've now got the nozzle set to 194 and the bed set to 57. And if we obviously then look at the machine, it's come up, nozzle 194, bed 57. And that'll then show you on the screen of your phone as it heats up. It's not 100% accurate because obviously it's having to refresh, the phone's obviously refreshing itself over the Wi-Fi while it's communicating to the printer. So the printer's always that little bit ahead of it. So yeah, that'd be ideal if you want to sort of, you know, before you come out in the morning or whatever you want to set your machine, get your machine warmed up, ready to do a print, you can just do that. So yeah, that's the Wi-Fi setting on this machine. And like I say, I've got no complaints about this little machine at all whatsoever. It's worth a try, guys. Give it a look. I mean, there, there are some bad things people have said out there about this printer but I, I don't know why i think they're expecting too much for what they're paying say so over here at beanie's hobbies none of these videos are sponsored all the machines i've paid for by myself um so i will give you my honest opinion if i think the machine is junk i would tell you that the machine is junk um i have had a couple of junk machines in all fairness I've had a couple of trunks. These I would not recommend that brand to anybody. Those machines are nothing but trouble and they just don't work properly. But this uh, Mono Price Select V2 Mini Beast. Love it. Give it a look, guys. Give it a go. Anyway, I think that's enough for me for waffling on for now. I uh, hope you all found this of some use. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!